Right, Frank Maloney, 10th of December, Peter Lee, uh, double British title fight bill tonight. Let's talk about the main two fights then. Chris Edwards, Shin uh Chris Edwards out, he outworked him tonight, didn't he? Great little fight, and what can you say about Chris Edwards? You know, it's the second time them two have met. They give 110% each time to me. You know, they're great value, they're great entertainment, and I could watch that sort of fight every night. You know, Chris Edwards at 35, where does he dig it up from? Where, you know, where does it keep coming from? He never seems to stop. You know, and I've said to him after the fight, you know, you're one of my favourite little fighters. Um, you always give me great entertainment, great value, Sky love watching you. We are going to deliver you a European title in 2012. Is that what's next for him? I hope so. You know, we're going to work on that. But, you know, there's some good fights there. There's a rematch with Paul Edwards. There's the kid from Belfast, Jimmy Conlon. So there are some good matches out there with Chris Edwards. But, you know, there's the million dollar question about Chris Edwards is how long can the little 35 year old man keep going to the well? Yeah, he's a little pocket dynamo, isn't he? What about Shinny Goyar? Uh, you know, I don't know, I like Shinny, he's a real character, you know, he, he, he sells some tickets, you know, he's bought something different to, our, to our, our boxing, but he's very prone to cuts, you know, and he, lit, he lost the fight in the first six, seven rounds, he didn't do anything, he lit the pocket dynamo overrun him, and, you know, you saw that, it's a shame, but, you know, he can come back in the mix, but he's got to get a couple of wins. Right. So. Well, I actually feel fine, Ben Murphy, I mean, Ben Murphy, what a star tonight. And he was, he was winning on all the scorecards at the end when he got stopped. Oh, unbelievable. I mean, he saved really? the show, Ben Murphy. I'll take my hat off to him. And Johnny Eames has done a great job with him. So, you know, he was five, five up and one judge, four up and one judge and one up. He couldn't lose. He just ran out of steam. He'd never been at distance before. But again, another guy that showed you sometimes the form book in boxing doesn't exist. But, you know, Ashley Fear Payne showed he was a true champion. He found it when he had to. It was, you know, he came back with something special. Uh, he turned defeat into victory. So I take my hat off to him, and you know, I uh, wish him luck in his career. And uh, I think we'll see a lot more of Ben Murphy. I mean, there's a lesson there, isn't there, for other boxers? You've got to stay in the gym because he got that uh, four days notice or whatever, didn't he? Yeah, uh, look, they're professional fighters. They've got to stay in the gym. The trainers have got to realise the face of British boxing is changing. If they don't want it, if they want it to die, keep on behaving the way you are. If you don't want it to die, look at what Johnny Eames has done, and look at what Ben Nerf has done, and follow their example. All right, highlights of the other card, Stewie Hall, back to winning ways. Stewie Hall had a good win, but I must say the highlights to me tonight was obviously Danny Price, um, one that I've got high hopes for, one that is really establishing himself. You know, a very good fight the way he dealt with an old pro there, and, um, Again, you know, it's great to see Paul Ingalls at ringside for the second time. It's great to renew my friendship with Paul Ingalls. It's been for a little bit of a rough patch. Um, but, you know, we had a great chat with each other. He's going to be coming to the shows again. And it'd be great to see Boxing Alive in Scarborough. The, the other good fight was Jonathan McClumford, I think, who really established himself. And um, Craig Dixon fight with um, Liam Vaughan was a great fight. You know, Sky like that. They'd like to see a rematch for that, which we will do in Liverpool. We'll go up to six rounds. But tonight, overall, I think the fights in the North East have done, have done the North East really proud. And the crowd were great tonight. You know, We lost Nigel Wright, uh, who sold over 300 tickets. But they still came here, they stayed here to the end. And I'd like to say a big thank you to the, to the fans of the North East. Next for my only promotions is Liverpool, 21st of January. Uh, Headliner is uh, David Price versus John McDermott. We keep saying this, but you can't write big bad John McDermott off for that fight, can you? No, it's uh, an interesting fight. It's one we're putting together. We're going to have some surprise fights on that show. You know, I, I finished the season on a high of two good shows, the 3rd of December and, and tonight's show, and we're going to start 2012 with a real big bang. I'm going to have for at least three heavyweights on that show, and we're going to have the normal one, the car fight. So, you know, just watch Frank Maloney promotions in 2012 and watch David and Danny Price. Last question, I mean it is almost 2012, what's your boxing wish list for, for, for the new year? Um, deliver David Price to British European world title, see Danny Price win the British and European title and I like the cruiserweight division and you know just to produce a few more champions before I finally call it time. Well done Frank, cheers. Thanks.